Okay, it's time for a new needle felt and uh, I showed you this box here the other day and this is the time for it. So let's open up and see what we got inside. And here we go. Um, first of all, I see a lot of wool in different colors, really pretty colors here. Then there is a work tool some pipe cleaners and a how-to. Let's just look at the how-to. So um, I wanted to show you something else as well, because I really uh, kind of went crazy with this needle felting and I really wanted to learn this and be better at it. So I thought it was good to kind of um, order some more needle felting kits so i kind of went crazy and i just want to show you what i ordered um i ordered this little penguin um there was two of them uh so this little penguin in a pig suit and this one i think it's a strawberry suit and everything comes within the back all the uh, wool and work tools and needles and eyes and beak and everything is uh, in the back for this little one so I'm going to make them one day and then I got this little flower girl and the little kitty girl here because uh, I think I could use some ideas from these sets for making small tiny dolls in 1 to 12 then I found this cute little elephant because I just adore elephants. Here we only get uh, the wool and the things for the elephant. No needles, no uh, workspace. The same with this one. I actually think this one came with separate needles. Um, but this one had only the necessary things for it. Then I got this little um, penguin in a bunny costume and again this came with everything and this is from Wolfelt basic tools and drawing tool tutorials uh, and they have the cutest of these um, that you can make actually I think this one is from there no this one is also from the same companies and this company here is really um, giving everything you need in these small bags here and they're not that expensive and then the last one from the same company this little I think it's a kitty cat in a tiger costume and again everything is with everything you need and I really like that now back to this project I am using these pipe cleaners and actually you need two whole pieces of these uh, for this little uh, doll thingy but I decided to make mine a little smaller so I'm just measuring out how big or how small I want them and I'm bending one of them at the middle the other one I'm bending at the middle and then around the neckline here so I have the head the arms and the legs and I'm going to place the legs over the head like this this way they are connected at the start they don't do that in the step out but I think that is a little better so it's all connected I'm starting with a tiny bit of wool and there is something in this one let's get that out put that away then I am going to take a tiny string of wool and I am um, kind of shaping it between my fingers and then I'm rolling it around the arm and we're gonna do that again rolling it on all the way up the arm like this and then I'm just going to start carefully needle felting here do it very careful as you have this metal piece on the inside and that can break your needle so just be careful with this I do this all the way on all, on all the sides of this little arm and then I am going to wrap the legs and the other arm with the uh, same way like we did here. 
I take a little more wool and again I have to get rid of some dirt there is in there and I'm wrapping this around the body uh, and trying to get it as smooth and as um, pulled in as I can so it's not too loose to start with because that will make the work even longer uh, here I'm just dividing it in two so I can put one strand between the legs here and around um, you have to find your own way to do this I struggled a little with that uh, but at eventually I got it and I was happy with it and I started needle felting it and again be careful when you're felting here because you have that metal piece from the pipe cleaner in the middle of the body here and the arms and the legs so just be very careful when you are poking this little lady here when I'm done with the body I am going to take some more felt and I'm actually stretching it a bit here and wrapping it around the head so that I have mostly here at the middle of it and this is of course for the round shape of the head and again I'm going to stab it into the shape and also to make sure that everything is connected and is sitting tight and neat continue with the stabbing until you're really happy with the body now for the dress this is a little more complicated I'm just going to take the color that I want for it and I chose this orange one so I'm going to pull out a piece of that uh, what I'm doing right here and I'm making a hole here in the middle around the middle and I'm just going to stab it here really careful and making this kind of oval shape around this middle hold and where I don't have enough wool I'm just putting a little more in there and I'm going to shape it with my needle tool remember to pull it off and turn it over a few times and needle felt it from the other side because it will get stuck on the uh, work surface here I'm just pulling it over the head of the doll and then I'm going to work it into the upper body so it is sitting just like I want it to. I'm taking a tiny bit of this silver string that came with the kit and wrap it around her waist a few times and make a little tiny knot and cut off the wrist of the string here. Then to the dress, I am needle felting the two sides of the dress together and if I don't have enough felt to do this, I'm just going to take a tiny piece and put on there but I want these sides to be closed and I'm doing that on both sides of this little dress and felting it until I like the size and the shape of it. Then I take a tiny piece of wool and wrap it around the foot for a little shoe and I'm needle felting that to the body or the leg here. It's a bit tricky but the result is really worth it and I'm doing this on both her feet. Then it is time for her hair so I just take a strand of this brown colored wool and I wrap it around her head I want to make something that looks a bit like a bun in the uh, back of her head so I'm just shaping it and I'm placing more felt where I need it and I'm just going to continue until I'm happy with the placement and the size of her hair And I decided to give her a tiny bit of a bang here. I am taking a few strands of the 
dark brown wool here and rolling it into a tiny ball and using that for eyes. There are actually no eyes on the step out, but I wanted more detail on my little girl, so I made the eyes as well. And I want a little rosy color on her cheek, so I'm just taking a tiny bit of this pink uh, felt and rolling it into a tiny, tiny ball and placing one each side of the eye here, a little lower of course, around there and just poking that into the face of her and I'm doing that on both sides of her little face. I had a lot of fun with this so I did a few more. You can see I did them in different sizes here and this little green lady she don't have the wire in her body like the other one and that's why I could make her so small. I might have to show you one day how I did this little dolly here and I'm thinking this would actually go well with the dollhouse maybe the other two might be a little too big. So that's all there is for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.